Hi, how's it going? Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for a list video for you guys. So for this list, I'll be going over some movies that I dislike with actors that I actually love. Now, this is a video idea that I have thought about, and I thought it would be an interesting one, so I decided, hey, why not? Now, of course, I checked out these movies because I am a big fan of the actors that are the lead role in the movie. Either they're the lead role or they're a supporting role or the second lead role or whatever. You know how it goes. So, yeah. Of course, big fan of these actors, but not a fan of these movies. And, of course, you don't have to like every movie of your favorite actors. I just want to make that clear because I know that there might be... A small group out there that believes, well, if you're really a true fan of these actors, you have to like every movie that they have done, every movie where they were the uh, lead role or whatever, which that's not always the case. You're not going to like everything. That's just the way that it goes. So this list is in no particular order, and I have about six movies here. So the first movie I'm going to go over here is actually a movie that I did a review for on this channel, and that is Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves. Of course, I am a fan of Keanu Reeves. I like him in other movies like The Matrix and John Wick, Speed and Point Break, just to name a few. Oh, and 47 Ronin as well. I think that that's a pretty good movie with Keanu. So, Knock Knock, this movie was really a letdown. This movie sucked, if I'm being quite honest. I mean, it was really a letdown. It kind of had an interesting premise, especially in the first half of the film, like, it made you believe that there was going to be some twist at the end, but you really didn't get that with this movie. Basically, the plot of the movie is Keanu Reeves' character is this father and husband who have a wife and kids, of course, and they go on vacation and Keanu Reeves watches over the house while they're on vacation. And so there's these two girls that end up knocking on his door and... They, they just basically end up uh, messing with Keanu's character. And again, like, it leaves you wondering, like, why didn't they make some twist at the end? Because when you get to the end of the movie, you're like, well, what's the point? What was the point of these girls doing this crap to Keanu? And it just left you with more questions than answers. And that, to me, was just kind of, eh. Like, I just, I was not a fan of this movie. Not a fan of this movie. Probably one of Keanu Reeves' worst movies, maybe even his worst. And I know I'm not alone on that either because I know that other people have said that this is one of Keanu Reeves' worst movies. And it easily is. So next we got The Monkey King with Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen, I'm a huge fan of his work. I do enjoy the majority of his stuff. I think most of his movies are great. Of course you have Ip Man, which is probably the franchise that he's best known for. I especially like the first three Ip Man films. Ip Man 4, I think, is just okay. I don't think it's nearly as good as the, the trilogy. And you do have Iron Monkey as well, which is a classic, really good. You have Raging Fire. I think Raging Fire is honestly one of his better, newer films. Uh, you have Chasing the Dragon, which I think is decent. Uh, not one of his best films, but decent. Better than this movie. And you do have Flashpoint as well. Flashpoint is honestly one of my favorite Donnie Yen films. You have Kill Zone, another one of my favorite Donnie Yen films. Yeah, I love Donnie Yen. He's a great Hong Kong martial arts action star. I mean, definitely one of my favorites in that particular scene. But The Monkey King, this movie is just so weird. It's a really odd film. I mean, you literally have Donnie Yen playing a monkey in this movie, which on paper sounds hilarious. Like, you think it would be so funny, like, because, you know, you're typically used to Donnie Yen playing more serious roles, but playing a monkey, like, th that's just weird. I mean, again, you would expect something maybe hilarious, but the movie was just, I was not a fan of it. I mean, the visuals were kind of interesting, but some of the CG is just so awful. It's really awful. I mean, I might even say it's some of the worst CG in any of Donnie Yen's movies. I mean, it's just terrible. I didn't get the plot. I, I, I just, I was not feeling this movie. I, it was not, it was really not for me. 
so yeah, the Monkey King just couldn't get into this one. So next we got the Karate Kid remake from 2010, I think it came out. Uh, this is the one that stars Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan. Now Jackie Chan is actually the actor in this movie that I am a fan of. I do like Jackie Chan a lot. I do like a lot of his movies. Of course, you know, you have the Rush Hour movies. Um, you have the Police Story movies as well. And, you know, I know that some people complain about his more recent stuff, which I think his more recent stuff is kind of hit or miss. Like, Railroad Tigers, I thought was kind of boring. I mean, I wouldn't say that that movie sucked or it was horrible or whatever. It was just kind of mad, kind of average, kind of boring in my opinion. But the Karate Kid remake, I mean, obviously it comes nowhere close to the original. But of course, Jackie Chan is probably the best thing about this film, uh, his performance, of course. Even though in some parts of the movie he looks bored throughout the movie. But some of his performance in the movie is not so bad, I don't think. But obviously, again, Jackie Chan is probably the highlight of this movie. And from what I have heard... Um, Will Smith is actually a fan of the original Karate Kid, and that's why he wanted his son to be in the remake or something. Like, he wanted to see his kid be in the Karate Kid remake, which, I mean, this movie just shouldn't have happened. I mean, again, besides Jackie Chan, I mean, I think Jackie Chan is fine. I mean, it's not the best performance. Like, again, I think in some parts of the movie, he just looked like he didn't want to be there. But yeah, I am a fan of Jackie Chan, but this movie, it just wasn't good. So next we got Abduction with Scott Atkins. Now, Scott Atkins, I feel like he's kind of had a pretty hit or miss filmography. There are other movies of his that I have seen that I'm kind of iffy with as well, like Legacy of Lies. Uh, Legacy of Lies I don't think is that bad, but... I don't think it's one of his best movies. I mean, my favorite Scott Atkins movie is easily Ninja 2 Shadow of a Tear. That's a great movie. Um, I would definitely recommend both the Ninja movies if you haven't seen those. I mean, they're both worth checking out. I mean, if you want an introduction to Scott Atkins as an actor, I would say check out those movies. But Abduction, it's just a really odd movie, I think. Like, it has to do with alien invasions and stuff. And the CG was also pretty bad as well. I just was not into this film whatsoever. So, yeah, Abduction. I, I like Scott Atkins. I, I've i really grown to like a lot of his work. But Abduction, this movie, it's, it's again, it's just not it. It's, it's not really that good, to be honest. So, next movie up, we got Flight with Denzel Washington. I do like Denzel. Of course... I like the Equalizer films. There's Training Day, there's Two Guns, just to name a few Denzel Washington movies. So I would definitely consider myself a fan of Denzel Washington. But the movie Flight, I saw this in theaters around back when it came out, and it just wasn't really that good, to be honest. I mean, kind of an interesting premise, but it just didn't fully deliver, in my opinion. I mean, there's just, there's far better movies with Denzel. I mean, it's not the worst movie, but I just wasn't really a fan of it. Of course, it has to do with uh, Denzel Washington's character, who's this pilot who's responsible for this plane crashing. And, you know, there's a trial for that and everything. And he gets time for it at the end of the movie. So, yeah, I just, I wasn't really too into this film, to be honest. Again, I like Denzel, you know, I definitely respect him, and I like a lot of his work, but Flight, it's just not a good movie in my opinion. So, the last movie up here is actually a Jason Statham movie. You guys know that I do like Jason Statham a lot, and I would say that the majority of his stuff is great. I actually like most of his movies, but the movie that I went for for this video, for the movie that I dislike with Jason Statham, has got to be Wild Card. Wild Card is easily one of his worst movies. I was thinking either this movie or Killer Elite. Now, with Killer Elite, I'm not really a big fan of that movie. I just think that that movie's biggest problem is it's boring. I wouldn't say that it's horrible or it's terrible or whatever, but 
I went with wild card because, well, number one, the premise isn't all that interesting, and it's just kind of hard to follow what is going on, and, you know, I think the movie could have benefited with more action as well. I mean, Jason Statham has definitely had way better movies than this. I mean, I would very much rather watch the Transporter movies, especially the first one. The second one's not bad, though. The Crank movies, the Mechanic films, even the Meg movies, uh, the Expendables, just to name a few. You also got Safe as well, and Homefront. I know that some people don't like Homefront. Some people might even have Homefront on their list. For me, I actually liked Homefront. It's way better than this movie. So, Wild Card, I was just not really a big fan of this movie. I mean, I remember sitting through it and I'm like, okay, this is definitely not one of Statham's best movies. I mean, when is this movie over? I want it to be done. <laughs> so, Wild Card, I was not a fan of this movie. So there you go. That is a list of some movies that I dislike with actors that I like. So feel free to let me know what you think. What movies would make your list of movies that you dislike but feature actors that you like a lot? Feel free to let me know. So what did you think of this list? And if you disagree with this list, if you actually like some of these movies, like I know that some people actually do like the movie Flight, and that's okay. You're allowed to like the movie, but just because it's not for me doesn't mean it can't be for you. That's all. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.